Hi, I'm Rebecca Schoberg. I'm a seventh grade math teacher, and I have just recently read the book Building Thinking Classrooms in Mathematics and was inspired to start trying to implement these ideas in my own classroom. If you're like me and trying to start a thinking classroom, this activity is a great way to build a classroom community while at the same time slowly starting to build in some of those procedures and routines that are going to help you set the groundwork for your school year. In this video, I'll go through a demonstration of what this looked like in my classroom on day one. Good morning, class. Can I get two volunteers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, me, me. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm going to draw a Venn diagram on the board, and it's going to have as many circles as there are people in our group. When we work in groups, which we're going to do so often in this class, and we're going to have one whiteboard and one marker, we do not hog the marker. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this marker to Cameron right now. Cameron, could you please write each of our names outside of one of those circles? Cameron writes Mrs. Schoberg, Cameron, and Nate asking us our names. Thank you so much, Cameron. Now, you don't want to be a marker hog, so go ahead and pass that marker. All right, we're going to go ahead and populate this Venn diagram. So, Nate, what's one of your interests? I like basketball. Hey, guess what? I also like basketball. How about you, Cameron? Nah, I don't like basketball. All right, class, so Nate and I like basketball, but Cameron does not. So where should Nate put basketball? Ooh, ooh, right there, pointing. Right in this section that's just Nate and you. Okay, Nate, go ahead and place it in. All right, Nate puts his basketball in the proper section. And of course, he's gonna pass that marker. Well, I like yoga. Do you guys like yoga? Uh, not really. No. All right, class, where then should I put yoga? Well, in just your section. Yeah, top right, top right. And I put yoga in the proper section. Can't be a marker hog, so pass that marker. Cameron, what's one of your interests? I like video games. Me too. Me too. I put it right in the middle. Put it right in the middle. Cameron goes ahead and puts video games right in the middle. Puts the marker down. Passes that marker. And I think with those three examples, it's enough that we can get started. So I go ahead and ask the class. Okay, class, it is your turn. Can you go to the whiteboard that has a card that matches the one in your desk set? Don't forget to pass the marker. So they're going to look for that ace on the whiteboard. If they have it, then ace, they're going to go to that place. They've never done this before, so it's a great way to start looking for the spot that they're going to be in every day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful as you start your thinking classroom and are getting it going. You can find me on Teachers Pay Teachers at Move Mind Math. I'll put a link below. Have a great day.